black and white wire plate is more pieces, so it's bang on itself more, and full plates are just press plates, bigger pieces. I have no idea. Maybe it's only a one point difference, so I think I have a minus five to my plus two stealth roll. So yeah, I, I still not stealthing anywhere, but I I'm less likely to just sit there and make, make an explosion of noise. So Zig, what what was it said that you, what, what were you saying you were going to do? I wanted to sneak and follow him, see where he goes. Um. Uh, this will be, uh, yeah, uh, do you happen to have your, um, modifier memorized? If not, just go ahead and, and, and click it, and then I'll apply my, my own roll. Nine is a modifier. So, Max, I'm curious. At level four, is it like D&D &D 5E at level four, you also upgrade an ability score, or no? I can't find anywhere where it would be written. Uh, Yes, every four levels you upgrade an ability score. Is it like is it two like D and D five E or one? Like you can it, do put one point in each or two points in one. It is so you have two total points and you can choose to put one point in two different stats or two points in one. Okay. All in right. Pathfinder you can go above twenty, by the way. That's neat. Mm hmm Alright, so Zig, um you uh start following Eric, um, you can tell that he makes some uh, motions looking behind him, and he tries to walk um, a few different ways to shake anybody that might be following him. Um, he does not appear to notice you, and after about uh, two or three minutes of this, he appears to be satisfied and uh, continues on his, his way. He walks a... Um, by the way, if you have any other actions, feel free to interrupt me anytime you, you would like. He walks a good distance across town, and then he finds um, some type of par public bench or some place that he can sit, and uh, he sits down, and he starts looking like he is uh, very deep in thought. Is there anybody else in the area watching him? Well, no one else rolled stealth checks, and no one else said they were following so no. I am assuming that you are by yourself, but you're, I mean, you're in a, you're in a crowded part of town. It's not like you guys are, are, are by yourself. There is, there's a normal amount of people out, nothing unusual one way or the, the other. You just in certain ways? Um, no problem. Yeah. So, <laughs> I used to DM with my friends, and uh, they've come down pretty hard on me in the past for assuming player uh, action. So sometimes, sometimes I go pretty far out of my way to not assume players are doing anything. So, uh, yeah, sometimes I have a habit of waiting for players to announce what they want to do. Cause, like um, he's I'll, not going to approach him. Like he's just like following him and scouting, seeing where he's going, what is he doing? Is there anybody else he's talking to? He is standing, uh, uh, he, he, he seems to make up his mind. He um, stands up and uh, walks uh, pretty much in a straight line for a uh, um, shop that sells uh, uh, magic items. And he walks inside. It's a magic item shop? Ooh. Hmm, is there a back door to this shop? I would imagine that, the, well, boy, I don't know. Probably a high, I'm, I'm going to say pr uh, probably not. At least not one that looks like it would be readily uh, uh, accessible. Um, whoever runs the shop is probably uh, very wary of uh, theft. And is, I'm, I'm, I'm going to say this building is probably locked up relatively tight. You know what I was thinking of? No. Oh, uh, uh, or they're like, hmm, can I steal from there? But now it's like, no. Oh. I'm kidding. Go for it. Go for it. Like, <laughs> if you do, I'm <laughs> Shit! So are what? you going in, or are you just going to wait, wait until wait, Eric wait. comes what out? Kind, what, is it, light, is it bright, bright outside, or is it dark? It's bright. I mean, this is this is probably... You guys probably have, have not had the lunch yet. All right. Hmm. He'll just wait there and see if he comes out or not. 
He does. He comes out shortly, and uh, he is again walking in a straight line, and he's heading for some some part of the of the town that uh, is not of uh, is not immediately clear to you. Can I tell if he bought anything, or he looks the same? Um, he uh, he's not he's not carrying anything uh, in his hands uh, other than what he was carrying previously. I guess we'll keep following until it gets to a certain point. Okay, so um, he basically makes a, a straight line for the uh, edge of town. Um, he doesn't stop anywhere else. Um, doesn't seem to have any interest in, in anything. He walks past the uh, uh, the edge of town. I am I'm not picturing this town being a a walled uh, guys. You know yes. what? You're I'm sorry. I'm I'm lecturing my kids. You're both out of here. Oh. Let's go, Kyle. Close the door behind you. Sorry, my kids are literally punching each other in the face. <laughs> All right, so kids will be kids. You know, I told new? them when I'm, when I'm when I'm in here playing the game, there's only one rule, which is I I can't hear them because if I can hear them, you guys can hear them. So well, the thing is, if you let them punch each other in the face long enough, then you'll just stop hearing them completely. So. <laughs> Oh right. my it's a it's a win win. It's a win win. And the then the game the game will be delayed till next week because we'll be going to the emergency room. <laughs> Fair enough. All right. So, um, actually, this this brings up a really good point. This is a bit of a sidetrack, but um, uh, Washington, our main town, is 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 that a walled city? Yes. It, it is. Okay. It's a pretty big city. Uh, I am picturing that Alastrasa is not a a uh, a walled city. It it it, it was probably a, a city size, um, but I don't picture it having walls. So he walks straight to the edge of town and then starts heading out towards the the woods. And the situation that you're in now, you're you're now in a situation where uh, uh, you don't have a crowd to to blend in with. All right. Uh, so we are not in Washington. Uh, no, I'm sorry. Uh, that's right. You you came in late. We are. Drag you guys over here. We are, uh, we are in uh, uh, Alastrasa, which is here to the northeast of where oh, I, my I, town. I, I okay. think you guys. Yes, yes. Oh, that's right. Just yes, your your town. Neat. Okay. Um, and the quick rundown on that is that we were coming back from the encounter with with the cat monk guy, who I'm not really clear what was going on with him, and the uh, absent-minded princess and so, you guys uh, you guys the party met up with the party members who were not there met up with the uh, with the party met up here in, in Alastras and you guys basically have a day or two to uh, kind of get some uh, downtime before you have to move on so I'm okay. curious about something yes hey Phil what how would Zigbits feel about a giant cat <laughs> oh you're proud for the cat <laughs> I'm the path of the dire tiger, dude. Oh, I mean, it's a really this, big fucking cat. This is a conflict of interest, Josh. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you can get charged on, so you could also probably. Oh, no. It's probably horrifying to watch that change, though—a hobgoblin turning into a dire cat. So, Technically, it's a it's okay. a dire great cat, not a dire tiger. So it doesn't have as big teeth, and its attacks don't have the same bonuses. Like they share higher bonuses than my normal like claw attacks, but it's not plus twenty three to hit. It's which Wait, is really thought... fucking insane. I wouldn't no. I wouldn't normally do this, but I feel bad that Klaus is sitting here with nothing to ado. So I'm just going to 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 move this on. So um, Zigbit, right. uh, the situation that you're in is if basically if you continue to follow him, um, I mean, you're you're basically not going to be able to can continue to follow him through this part of town without without uh, revealing yourself. So I'm just going to say that uh, Eric walks off somewhere towards the the uh, the woods, um, out of and out of your your sight. All right. Maybe let Chase because now it's being too dangerous for himself. And I'll go back to the party. Does anyone else have anything that they, they want to do before I 
I I move into the part where uh, Klaus comes in. So it was a magic shot, right? Uh, quick question. Do they have a, a scroll of Ultra Self? Wait. Ah, it's a magic shot. Do they have a scroll of Ultra Self? And if so, mm. how much? Uh, if it seems ridiculous, I'm going to buy it for it. And then I'll buy it, and that should be it for me. Okay. Um, so, uh, sorry, some some of that broke up. What what are you what are you looking for? Uh, scroll of Alto Sol. Scroll of Alto Sol. Oh, Alto Self. Uh, yeah, I would I would say they have that, and um, I'm just gonna say that it is at uh, market price, which is. Oh. Sorry, I don't know why this is taking so long to load. Let's see here. No, I want the s scroll. Well, you're doing that. Uh, I'm looking at paladin spells because I've gotten my first paladin spell. And let me tell you, they are all over the place. <laughs> I, I, I'm looking. I can only cast one first level spell, which is fine. And I get some spells, which is like Shield of Shards, which is a level two spell for most classes other than Paladin. And basically, my shield can be it breaks itself in half and scabs things. Or I can choose Virtue, which is a zero level spell to most classes, but for me, it's first level. And when I touch you, you gain exactly one temporary hit point. <laughs> That is my one spell a day, is to poke you and go, you feel ever so slightly more resilient. But careful, if a breeze blows you the wrong way, you won't. What? <laughs> my so he carries scrolls for, for 25 gold pieces. Just 25? Oh, 425. That's what it says in... The it's a uh, it's a first level arcane spell, and uh, and when I uh, Google it, uh, I'm coming up with first level uh, uh, scroll sell for twenty five gold pieces. Uh, Alter self is second level, and for a wizard uh, spell of that, uh, yeah. times create. It, it's a hundred and fifty gold. Yeah, it's a hundred and fifty gold typically. Yes, one hundred and fifty. That I apologize. I I, I forgot it was second. W one second thing at a out of character to worry about do keep in mind with since some of us specifically bdt is playing a prepared caster who needs to learn spells don't give every vendor every spell because then he can just automatically if once he gets enough money buy every scroll and know every spell right but well, i mean alter self doesn't seem like it would be a terribly yeah, unusual spell. yeah it, it doesn't i'm just remind i'm just reminding that factor no problem of course, if I had asked for fucking aristocrats' nightmare, only politicians <laughs> would have that. <laughs> so yes, he has it for 150 gold. I'll take it. All right. And how long has Zigbit been away? Like only a couple minutes, right? Um, I say the whole thing before Zigbit comes back. Probably. Uh, pro I mean, he, he walked a good chunk across town, did some shopping, and sat down for 10 minutes. So he, he, he was probably gone for an hour. All right, so I'll just take it and I'll keep the scroll later for feeding to eat one. So does anyone else have anything of interest they want to do before I introduce Klaus? No. Nah. No. All right. So you guys have um, uh, uh, a couple of days uh, downtime here. Um, it has been, uh, I'll say it is the next day. Um, trying to think of how this will work. It probably is mid, mid morning. I'm going to say around, uh, 10 o'clock. And, uh, as you guys are kind of bumbling around town doing your, 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 your thing again, Hex, you again, notice that uh, somebody is looking at you in a, uh, uh, in a, uh, in a strange way as though they are about to approach you and, and, and speak to you. So Klaus, why don't you go ahead and uh, describe and in introduce your, your yourself? Uh. Um, I'm about five and a half, well, five 
five feet and a half, it's, uh, whenever you see him, he's kind of just, like, looks like a blue blob because of how much clothing he has. Like, you can't even see any part of him. It's just this thick, heavy set blue robe with a tall, pointy hat. Um, Do you have a character sheet on yes. Roll20? That is my dude. Oh my I god, is it, Ve is it Viger? Are you playing Vinegar, dude? Uh, well, he's not short. Um, can't really see his face. It's just kind of like two little yellow dots. Yes. <gasps> he's Are playing you? Viger. I guess Johnson. Uh, he has a massive pack on his back and seems like he has, like, just so many sashes and pouches and weapons all over him like he is owned to the tooth. So I I just changed this. I accidentally forgot to make his character sheet visible to all. So that's why oh. you could not see him. Hex is going to just try to not burst out laughing by how just ridiculous this guy is. Is he short in stature? Oh, he, uh, he's five he foot is. six inches. Oh, oh my gosh, you made a stereotype. You made the black mage from Final Fantasy 1. You are <laughs> yes. literally only four inches taller than the hobgoblin. Five feet, six inches? Yes. Uh, I cast child sense anyway. Are you a child? No. Are you sure? <laughs> Oh, I think are you, you are literally are you asking me if this is the the child that that I was uh, PMing you about earlier. No, I was just asking if this is a child. Oh, okay. Anyway, uh, uh, no. you probably mentioned during the day. You said it was like a day of just messing around, right? Correct. During the day, I will teach the familiar, um, the altar self, the altar self, and make one muffin of altar self. I. There's probably a better word for it, but I can't really think. A donut of all yourself. And I will... Yeah, I will subtract my funds as so. Okay. Oh, I forgot one really important point. Zig, in the past 24 hours, how much of this town have you burned down? Uh, wait, is it the same town as Juice? Yes. Oh, no. They don't even cause a fire. They don't know what they would cause fire. But... Well, that well, hasn't been in the last 24 hours. <laughs> but, but he burnt down the tavern, which is beside some other buildings. <laughs> I, I, uh, <laughs> I apologize. Go go ahead, Klaus. Uh, well, the man just kind of like looks around at you guys, kind of just like looks down at a piece of paper in his hands, looks back at you guys. And I just kind of point over to that red man. Is he made of lava, or fire, or what? Red man. Oh, me? Uh, that's gold armor. He, he kind of just wordlessly stares at it. I look up with, you, you can only assume a smile, judging by my eyes, and wave very, like, largely and obnoxiously with one hand. He very slowly waves, like, raises his hand and, like, waves it slightly and then lowers it again. I he has oversized happy. yellow and white gloves. I nod to him happily. Uh. Oh, any of you Hex? Oh, I'm getting very pop. For some reason. <laughs> Um, hi. Hi, um, well, I was sent ahead to, well, I was sent by Beric, and I have a little bit of a warning for your group. It's, uh, we saw quite a few other people heading over this way that looked like they may be some kind of concern. It, it's a rather large group. Kind of looks like they're ready to raid a place, in my personal opinion, but that's just it. It's my personal opinion. I'm not that great at judging people. Um, you are very diverse. I just stare at them. <laughs> I yes. nod uh, happily. Well, yes, but why did you seek me out? 
specifically? Oh, I was told that it was your group or whatever. I don't know. All I really heard was dwarf, dwarf, hex, dwarf, find them, dwarf, dwarf. I don't know. Oh. I'm really happy. Oh. You people are not dwarves. I look around. Are there any dwarves? No. I hug the nearest person. So I'm I, hug you back. <laughs> I am so happy to see someone that isn't short. <laughs> I give him a, a pat on the back. Just do that weird thing where you just like hug each other and then rapid fire patting each other. Wait, is it big fear or not? Or is he still yes. back? Um, nope. This is the following day. No, his bro just from behind and he sniffs him. So, um, these dwarves, as soon as they look like they might be angry at me. Oh, well, I, I was traveling with them for a little bit, um, it was just, there was a party that they sent me to warn you about that was, we were traveling in the other way, we're from the same guild as you, I'm so, sure you've seen us around. Yes, um, it sounds familiar. Yeah, well, um, really I was just called to, told to come tell you, dwarf, dwarf, be careful, dwarf, dwarf, large people coming. I saw quite a few of them. They had some, like, mages and stuff, but, uh, they, they really did look like they were something to be concerned of. Dwarf. Uh, um, <laughs> do you have the exact words I do speak to Uh, dwarf, 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 dwarf. Do I understand any of that? Like this cloud. I don't know if he's just saying the word dwarf. I'm literally just saying the word dwarf. It, they're just so tidy, it's easy to like tune them out. I look down on the little man and and shrug at that comment. Belson, um I appreciate the warning. Do they come do they seem to be coming from the city? They were coming from the city, right? No, they are headed south. They're headed south. Uh, so they will be approaching uh, Alastrasa from the north. So they'll be approaching from the north. So we should not fuck with them. I mean, it'd be kind of funny to fuck with them, though. It's always How fun to fuck with head? people. How long are these, are, are these um, people? They, they, there were a few of them that were wearing light stuff. I think that there were two of them that were going in a... Uh, he thinks for a moment as he checks his notes. <laughs> uh, there are ten big burly guys, very heavily armored, about five people that were really light or no armor, and then five that were priestly types, he says as he just reads it off of his glove. Uh, <laughs> I don't exactly like the sound of that. So you do kind of sound like witch hunters, so I'm going to be in the next town. Wait, they sound I, like I what? I stand up proudly. <laughs> I just like, stand up proudly beside Hex. I I look <laughs> I look at Hex, and I look back at the l little guy that showed up in a bunch of um, balloon <laughs> like. The way you described it, Targon's picturing balloon clothing, like so much clothing you can't see anything. <laughs> so it's just like, you know uh, that scene from Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory? Fucking Violet blowing up like a big blueberry? That's what he's thinking of. <laughs> that or Viger from League, if you've ever seen that guy. Thank you for sharing your very but, um animal socks, um, Targon. No, 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 Targon's not saying this out loud. He's just glancing at you guys. And so, then he states, So, um, I just want to say one thing. Did you say witch hunters? Because I've always wanted to met, meet them. They seem really cool. I shake I my head <laughs> when he says that. Just say no. <laughs> and then I give a thumbs down. I just kind of look at him and blink, and I look over to the rest of the group. 
He's slow, right? Did, did, he, did he look at me? Yes. Cleaning man, lollipop, it is slow. He just wore it there at the time. That, that's not good. I just kind of look at him. <laughs> wow, that was a lot of noise at once. <laughs> I sneezed. My bad. <laughs> Craft disappointment. Eight. Oh no, the stern is war crest. No, 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 as he sits down on the ground and starts building disappointment, apparently. Yeah. I... really wish I just stayed with them. I just kind of look at the group and just, like, put my... hand near my face, but not actually touching anything. Um... You okay? I... I just kind of stare, attempting to craft disappointment, but I'm all 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 out of craft slots. <laughs> I um, had too many. <laughs> anyway, so um, you just you just had mentioned that you were from the guild, correct? And that the dwarves were warning us warning us about um some creatures to the north. Uh, yes. Do you want to accompany us back to the guild? These creatures don't exactly sound like the best of interest, and we haven't been told to, you know, investigate them. Let's see what the guild master has to reward for us. Um, about how far away were they? Like. They are about, um, you estimate uh, the earliest they could get here is 12 hours behind you. Yeah, I'm not sure we have enough time for that. Alright, then. So, so, you had mentioned they looked angry and ready to raid? Oh, just from my opinion, they they weren't really packed to go out, and they did, they looked like they were traveling pretty light, but... very heavily armed. I... I would suspect that they would raid, yes. Okay, then. Is this a walled city? Oh, what? A walled city. It is not. Sorry, I'm trying to draw, and it's not that cooperating. So they are coming from... You guys can see what I'm drawing, right? Yep. They are headed south down this road, so they will be approaching Alastrasa from the north. So these guys are going to attack Rusty's hometown. <laughs> well, I think it's fine. That place is fine. <laughs> casualties, but it should be fine. Uh, that's not actually Rusty's hometown. Rusty's hometown was destroyed. Yeah. Uh, I thought Rusty had a home dimension. <laughs> oh, yeah, never mind. You're right. Yeah, you didn't care. Never mind. No, 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 that's Rat. Rusty is the NPC I created who's related to Targon. Oh, okay. I thought you were referring to uh, uh, a gilded guy as Rusty. No, Rusty, no Rusty, Rusty's the guy who literally made it a point to make Gilded Guy question his morals all session. Wow. <laughs> he did an effing good job. Yep. He still has that bottle. <laughs> anyway, so maybe we should search for high ground and then the city has been burned down in the morning. We go back to the guild. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Are, are we burning more buildings? No, we're not going to be uh, spending the building. Okay, we got every cleanser? No, no. God damn it. <laughs> Was he just talking about burning down a city? <laughs> no. I can't we should protect people. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, oh, oh. But don't, don't burn down the building. No, don't <laughs> burn down any buildings. The thing in my side. Targon puts down the two rocks he was trying to make a spark with. Oh, okay. Um. <laughs> I, I, 
I'm going to go up to the wood to the north and I'm going to start <laughs> laying down some traps. Y'all just... I just kind of okay. stare at them. Ooh, wait. Ooh, wait. Traps. Traps sound fun. Can I help you? Wait. Yeah. Oh. Wait, so remind me. Uh, is how like, trying to lay down traps for the incomer? Uh, what? You, uh, you mentioned something about traps. Yes, I uh want to. I kind of want to go up and uh, start making some traps to the way that's coming in from the north. So that way, because they looked like they were an aggressive bunch, so just kind of, kind of. But do we know if they're evil? I we could look like quite an aggressive bunch to a random village. I'm just gonna make a little like few but pit traps. It's fine. A okay, pit trap so... never hurt anyone. <laughs> we are literally armed to the teeth as well. And are we like expecting people to build traps that are come well, if Gilda guy's not there, yes. He, <laughs> he literally <laughs> just talked about building down Let a city. Can Dude. I look to the north of the city? But to be fair. Yes. Max, to is be there fair, smoke billowing and billowing in the distance? There is not. I am not. We have nothing to worry teeth. about. I have armed teeth. teeth. And a bunch of darts. And bear claws. Yeah, bear arms. They're not on! <laughs> Yet! <laughs> you literally have variously sized poking sticks. From <laughs> dart to spear. I think everyone just assumed you were going to put them on permanently. <laughs> yeah. No, Anyways. because I don't know how they're going to stretch if I ever transform. No, transforming is fine with them. The issue in remains, you weren't able to do things like, say, use open doors. Pick a lot. Oh. Throw guys, dirt. There is this, there is this, there's a really, really bad drawback. Transforming's great for combat. You know? I can't do anything for an hour, because I, I can, I can transform for up to a max of seven hours, I think. No, I'm sorry. For a max of six hours. But, you know... I have to be transformed for an hour at a time, and during that time, I can't speak. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm looking at I Slayer. I can growl. I'm looking at Slayer. <laughs> you have sneak attack? Shifter? Oh, you're Shifter. Sorry, my bad. I'm not a Slayer. I'm a Shifter. Anyway, so, there's a guy you're so worried about that he can notice the cards. It's... And if the gods can't hold back these attackers, what makes you sneaky go? So, let us... Notice the head of the gods as they are some shaky individuals from the north approaching, and be on a very merry way. That's... Uh, tell the gods things are, get, are going bad, and then run. And I just... Yes, get out of there. But don't you yes. want to actually... If they are an issue, there's quite a few of the people. Do you not want to actually help the town? No. Never. I just not stare at them. <laughs> I well, that's at, a wrap. That's that's, I, the whole, that's the whole adventure then. We'll see you guys next week. I, I look at I look at Zigbit. <laughs> Best way to derail a campaign. Just walk away. I look at Zigbit. You want to go on an epic adventure for Dragon's Loot? No. <laughs> I just slowly start reaching into my bag and pulling out bear traps. Yeah. Um, oh, oh wow! Oh, the, <laughs> you see the how? Targon looks at. I would a... love to help this town, but um, I don't exactly put my line, my life on the line for nothing. Well, they looked like they had some good stuff on them. Hex, I can't... what do you mean? Hex, what do you mean you wouldn't put your life on the line for nothing? You don't put your life on the line for anything. Gilded guy could be falling off a fucking bridge, and you'd be like, "Have a nice flight." Yeah. I kind of get to like waving my hands like in <laughs> motion. There's a benefit to me saving Gilza guy. I keep Gilza guy. That's the benefit. But if I, you know, just put myself in the middle of danger for this town that I've not worked out the contract with, there's no real benefit to me, is there? Hold on, I have a better plan. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna have Hex I line up in the front. Hand while he's talking, just like in his face, and then with, and then just start pantomiming what's 
he has probably begun speaking over me anyway. <laughs> yeah, he moves like, your hand slightly to the side. <laughs> he moves yeah, your hand slightly to the side. I just begin pantomiming, like, we get the appreciation of helping people. <laughs> and then Targon goes, but again, I have a better plan. What we're gonna do is we're gonna have Hex line up in the front, and she's gonna flash them, and then they're gonna run away. I will distract you. Hex is just not the finest, but performance is not that fat yet. Performance. I'm going to slap you. As he realizes just what kind of contract he signed by joining this team. <laughs> Should have gone with the two month version, not the six year. You know, I should have just stuck with the dwarves. <laughs> gorf, 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 gorf. <laughs> so, Hex, do you actually slap Targon? This could get interesting. No. Why not? Please, Targon please. has a record of strap <laughs> fighting. You start <laughs> fighting. You'll go to the end of it. One or the other. Because Hex does, like, doesn't actually mind. He just threatens you back and forth. It's just a thing. He oh. tried into you out of love. Hold on, hold on. And then he looks at Gilded Guy. You know, with all that armor, he's probably got some big tits too. Should we have him flash him? <laughs> uh, I'm going sad. to go find the town guard. Like, <laughs> um, kicked me. Yep. Like, okay. I. Did you actually see all his armor? No, there's no chin, it's flat. Well, you you people do what you do. I'm gonna go find the town gods. It... Yes, we should warn the town gods if it's out in the hub because of Does that make you happy? Because of you warn the town gods. I mean, warn them, use them as bait. I like I mean, them, I mean... use them as bait. <laughs> oh, oh no, we're going to warn them and you know help them be prepared for the threat so they can survive. So send them in first? You keep beating my mind, but I'm trying not to say it out loud in front of the panic. <laughs> I'm shaking my head slowly at my current company. But, but what if we let them get into the town? Before they get into town, we douse everything and order and <laughs> I immediately <laughs> put a hand on his face! <laughs> And then the while, while my hands on, I don't his, fire. look at him and shake my head no. Vio, that would be a Vio, oh. that would be a good tactic if the town was abandoned. People live here and they're going to be they're going to be coming for us. So I better not have a, even more mobs after my head. That's for. Uh... A life of the run is a fun thing. Mm -hmm. I'm sure you know that. Yeah, we'll just put them. Man, but, super. I'll tell you what, so. And then pitch if, in. If our hope is lost and the town is demolished, I'll let you back. I frown. 